All right. I have been like uh, intrigued and, and, and stuff. I'm starting to see some over the fire cooking. And ever since I got my Watchman stove and I'm learning how to cook on that, having an open fire now just intrigues me. Um, so last night in the shop, I built me this little hanger thing. And uh, it's kind of redneck, but it's kind of elaborate. I got chains on it. I got it so I can adjust the height of my meat. And, and my goal is to work up to do like a leg of lamb or a leg of venison or something like that. But we got to start out <laughs> a little bit uh, cheaper, easier. I don't know if chicken's easy. Chicken's a bitch, but it's but it's it's cheaper. So if we screw it up, you know it is what it is. So here's the deal. We went and we got some oak wood. So we got a fire started. We let it burn down into coals, and we got some there and. You know, we just got some pieces of tin and, and uh, guys, outside of the box. That's what it's all about. If this works out for me and I can, I know it's gonna work. I just gotta figure it out and master it. But this is gonna be way better to have five, six buddies over and doing this kind of stuff than maybe cook it on your grill. I, I think it's, uh, it's intriguing. So we're gonna, we got a pineapple and we got chicken and we got it hanging and we use trapping wire and, and Mike's running the camera, so we had to wash the wire first. So we got the wire washed, and then we just took a cheap chicken and put some rub on it, and and uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try this, and we're gonna just keep you updated. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, we had to put we put tin all the way instead of just on one side because it's colder than a crack of a well digger's ass out here. It's supposed to be 50 degrees, and it's only like 30. Degrees. So anyways, here's our chicken. It is getting, we thought it would roast up all the way, but it's, uh, the bottom is getting done, and up here in the chicken butt is not. So, we need to rotate. So here we have unclean trapping wire, because we're going to have a little bit of it my way. You know, I survived all that other stuff. We'll see. And I think we're just going to, we just got to, we just got to, uh, you know, run it through here. No gloves. The fire is not as hot as we thought it would be. So what do we? What do you think we got to do there, Mike? Well, if we split the wood wood into smaller pieces in the yeah. first place, it'd burn a little hotter and have a better coal base. Good. Whatever. So we got to rotate the chicken. So look at that. That's looking freaking. That's looking amazing. But I'm not a breast man. I'm more of a butt man. Can you say that louder? I'm not a breast man. I'm more of a butt man. I was talking about the word amazing. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I can be loud. That comes from being in the Marine Corps. I think we got to put hooks on our chain too. Hooks would be nice. So Quite the versatile uh, contraption you got here. Right? I thought of everything and missed out on a lot of things. Well, it's usually how it all goes. You got a big trapping convention coming up this spring. You want to do a suckling pig or something? Oh yeah, like we're that? gonna do something. So let me see oh, the pineapple. How's that? Ooh, she got to hang a little lower, I think. Oh. All right, what do you think? Good or lower? Lower. It's not burning that hot. And you gotta start speeding things up. You're gonna be out of daylight here before you know it. Right? All right. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon here. Yeah. So there we got that. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's cover it back up and let her roll. If we really knew what we were doing, we'd have a pan down there to co collect all the drippings and stuff. Oh, dude, and we should have like, we should have like a, a pan, a Dutch oven down there with oh, yeah. beer in it. And, and it, oh yeah, we could have done this so much better. But. The best thing is I made this to last. This is not like a one-time use. No. So we're gonna get better at this. This summer we're gonna do like, we're gonna hang all kinds of stuff. Oh. That's another thing. What? It's cold out. Oh, right, but yeah. The summer it's gonna be way better. Right. All right, so we'll be back and show you how this all turns out. So far, I think, I don't know if we're gonna kick Tweety Bird in the nuts or Big Bird in the nuts or what we got going on, but somebody's getting kicked in the nuts. I guarantee you this is gonna be kicking the nuts good. I just don't know when it's gonna get there. <laughs> That's a good point. All right, valuable lesson. If you live in Wisconsin and it's 30 degrees, forget the over the fire cooking. We tried putting tin up and everything else. It kind of got close to done. Uh, we had to fire a little too hot here, so you had to move it up and then the wind would blow and it couldn't get it hot. Very hard to regulate the heat this time of the year. So, we're going in the oven. Because it really does look good, and it's juicy, I can feel it. And uh, 
chicken will kill your ass if you don't cook it right. So we're going in the oven. We'll be back. All right. So this is how you end open fire cooking in Wisconsin in the spring when it's supposed to be 50 degrees out and it's only 30. Woohoo! Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, that trapping wire is still pretty hot. Hold on. Ooh, I like Brought the tin snips, baby. Ha! <sighs> oh, it's not. Whoo, little hot. Little hot. Some's hot, some's not. I gotta get me a piece of this. So. Oh, here we go. Here's the end of this wire. Oh, nice. Here we go. This is the 12 hour chicken cook. It actually wasn't 12 hours, but it was a freaking long time. Oh, that baby is juicy. Let me try some of the skin. Oh. I told you it was going to kick somebody in the nuts. We just didn't know how long it was going to take. Huh. It's definitely got a smoky flavor. I wish we could have finished it. Mm. Juicy. And that is kick foghorn leghorn in the nuts good. You want to try some? Oh, that's freaking good. And done. And hot. Everything it wasn't when we had it over the open fire. So, again, guys, think outside the box. This is going to be good. We're going to do some more this summer. We're just going to have to hold off. But the open fire is very intriguing to me. I can't wait to do more. All right, we're back because we forgot to do the pineapple. I apologize. I was, uh, you know, you cook a chicken for like 10 hours and you end up, uh, so, I was so hungry I'd eat the ass out of a road killed skunk, I'll tell you that. But it was really good. Not the road killed skunk, the chicken. And we're still eating the crap out of it. But we got to do the pineapple. So, here we go. I'm not a big pineapple fan. Like it shouldn't be on pizza. All right, the pineapple. I don't know if we should have left the skin on because it still has a, it's kind of crusted on the outside now. All right, smoked pineapple, not my favorite. It just doesn't do anything for me. But I don't put pineapple on my pizza. I'm gonna, but this, huh. This is it. Somebody had the idea, though. We should put the pineapple above the chicken so the juices come down on it. So we might try that next time. Because there will be more of this coming. For now, guys, we got to go because, like I said, I'm hungrier than shit. 